Hey folks, well, finally getting around to the maiden launch of Ripple 2. I'm going to get it down here to Turtle River. Beautiful fall, October day. To show you how she turned out. Okay, so this is the first time she's been out of the workshop. So before I put her in the water, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the design. Two sheets of plywood. Well, plus maybe a little bit extra for the stems, but you wouldn't have to use the four millimeter Okume, which is what I built the canoe from, but two sheets of four millimeter marine plywood is all it took to build this 14 foot canoe, 36 inch beam. I didn't weigh her, but I'm guessing around under 60 pounds. I'll weigh it before, before I write the book on how to build it. So I trimmed out the, the gunnels in black ash, as well as the seats are made from black ash in the, in the center thwart. So with this canoe, I went with watertight stems on both ends. So I just thought, well, I'd have a watertight chamber that can, of course, easily be accessed to give your, yourself some watertight storage. And I went with just sheets of plywood on the bottom, so there was no need to cut it into strips, but the sides are all strips. And then we all have some, some footage showing how I built this. So let's put her in the water. Well, she floats. <laughs> one of the, not really a concern that I had, but one of the things that I did differently from my original ripple design is the original one had some ribs in the floor to strengthen it. But since this design has six ounce fiberglass cloth, both on the outside and on the inside, it's a composite hull. So I didn't feel a need for the ribs in the floor. And as I can see, you know, it, it flexes a little bit like a, every canoe would on the floor, but I can see there's no need for those ribs. So that's a, a real labor saver. And it just makes it a lot cleaner design. So as you, you can tell, I'm sitting in the bow seat facing backwards because I'm solo. But I'm pleased. I think she handles pretty darn well. So Peg and I took it downstream and then back up on the river a ways and all in all really pleased with how it performs. So I'm going to spend the winter writing a book on how to build it. Anyone interested in building a pretty shapely canoe out of two sheets of plywood, Ripple 2 might be the canoe for you. So until next time, Mark again with Backwood Basics. Let's, uh, let's row together.